Okay, this video is uh, about my hunt for a center cockpit 33 foot yacht for my family of five, ideally with twin keels, good accommodation and reasonable sea keeping. Don't want anything too light and sporty, I prefer this discus which is quite heavy by modern standards. It's got 6,854 kilograms displacement and uh, 2,700 kilograms ballast. She draws about 1.3 meters and compared to my current Jaguar 27 which draws 1.1 meters that's still going to be fine for our mud berth. So these images are a combination of a boat that I've looked at myself and stuff I've found on the internet. I like the discus because it's got the aft cabin and it's got the nice spacious side decks, nice reasonable heavy boat, good accommodation but uh, perhaps a little dated in design, uh, which we'll come to later. Some people don't like twin keelers. Uh, they talk about going to windward badly, but depending on the boat, I don't think there's a big performance hit. And after all, this is what we like to do, is uh, be able to let the kids get off the boat and run around, or even just do a bit of anti-fouling on the cheap without having to lift out. So that's the dream. Is this the boat for us? So this video is a discussion point, so my co-owners and I can have a little uh, chat about what the strengths and weak points of this boat design are. Uh, you've got the reasonable four cabin, standard layout mid in the main cabin. I think the galley is quite nice to have it near the hatch. This is a picture showing uh, looking aft and you can see the galley on the left and the walk through to the aft cabin on the right nice to not have to go on deck to get to the aft cabin. So walking into that aft cabin you can see here there's a little seat uh, helpful if you're trying to get changed or put your boots on or something and then looking at the actual berth it's okay certainly good enough as a generous one and a cozy two berth um, it's not quite as big as I'd hoped Most of the boats I'm looking at of this size have some kind of heating. Whether it works or not is another question. Uh, the storage on the discus seems pretty good. Plenty of room for your bits and bobs and clothing and things. I'm trying to show the actual headroom here and the actual space. It's not great is it? It's okay. You know, it's certainly better than uh, something like a Hunter where you've basically got a shelf that goes underneath the cockpit. So that it's nice that you can sit down uh, to get changed and things, but it, it's not palatial. Headroom in the main cabin is a strength, and I think that goes through to the fore cabin as well. There's definitely plenty of room here. So looking in the fore cabin you can see the classic uh, westerly headlining issue. Uh, this isn't a showstopper in my view, it could be done over winter as long as the price reflects the job that needs to be done. The main cabin has a double berth on one side and a single berth on the other side. The layout is pretty standard, nothing surprising, but plenty of room. The back cushions have great storage behind them, and storage is a strength of the discus, I would say. The galley isn't huge, but do you want it to be? Uh, I think it's pretty functional and nice that it's by the hatch. So we should probably have a chat about the bridge deck feature. Most discuses had this, there were a few with the aft cabin configuration, but they are rare. So the bridge deck is this sort of raised platform just before you go down into the cabin. It allows for the walkthrough to the aft cabin. It's pretty seaworthy I think, stops water if a wave come coming in onto the boat going into the cabin. 
uh, and I think it's quite a nice feature that lets sort of the kids certainly lounge around uh, in the relative comfort uh, out of the wind and spread away from the spray. Uh, some might argue that it makes it more difficult to get into the cabin, but I certainly didn't find this to be the case. So one nice would like feature would be to be able to have both the co-owners and my family on board, which is a big ask, and you'd only do it for a weekend, and the dads would probably end up sleeping on deck. Uh, with this cockpit configuration, you can just about lie out on deck without uh, being too uncomfortable, but I, I certainly wouldn't want to do it for more than a night. Otherwise, I think this cockpit's a really comfortable cockpit, and it feels pretty safe. So the price in uh, May 2018, as you can see here, is sort of hovering around the 20 to 25k mark. Uh, this is just a quick search on Apollo Duck. So the Discus is a big, heavy, safe boat that will take the ground. It's a good family boat. The kids aren't going to get nervous in a sea. It's not going to bob around too much. It has the aft cabin. It has a reasonable uh, main cabin and fore cabin. And I think she's a pretty boat. So uh, for that price margin, I think you get a lot of boat for the money, albeit a slightly dated design that perhaps doesn't have as much of a wow factor as some other designs, but they would be more expensive.